Now this is version 1.1.3 of the GP Overlay app for Android and this is a very quick tutorial on how to get started. Now GP Overlay is an app that allows you to customize a gamepad when streaming PC only games onto your phone using something like Parsec or, or Moonlight. Now as you can see here I have a very quick and easy overlay or gamepad for Minecraft. I'm going to show you how to make this so I'm going to click reset so we can make it together. Now. First thing you're going to want to recognize is that 16 at, at ab um, above the reset button. That tells you how many buttons you have left. So you can only have a total of 16 buttons. But with, th with that in mind, I think we can fit all the buttons. So click on more and that creates a button right here. And highlight it, it turns kind of grayish and we can highlight it and change the size by pinching. Now we're going to want to do our WASD keys because that's how you move in Minecraft. So we have that and then we click and hold that button, click W, make another one, A, make sure you click next, S, and then D. And boom, now we can move. And we're also going to want to jump. So more, we're going to put it over here, scale it up using the pinch. And if you don't know what pinch, the pinch gesture is is put both fingers, two fingers on the screen and change the distance between those fingers and that will allow you to scale. Now we're going to put in space but you do not actually click the space button. What you do is type in space like that and that's our space button. And another useful thing in Minecraft is shifting or crouching so you don't fall off a thing. So click more, we're going to make a shift button and again you type, just type in shift. Um, and I know it, it's cut off in the button, but if you look in the top right, you can see the full word shift, so you know it's good. Now, with Minecraft, I don't want to actually have to hold down shift the entire time I want, I'm wanting to crouch. I want it to kind of stay. I want it to stick, right? So the way you do this is by shaking. And that creates a special button called the sticky button, which you click it once, it locks, and then you click it again, and it turns off. So we don't have to keep holding it down. Now, we're also going to want to punch. So I set my punch, my attack button, to I. And, um, yeah. So what are we going to punch with? Well, in Minecraft, there is a hot bar with nine different icons or items you can choose from. How do you choose them using only these buttons while maintaining a, a 16 only um, buttons? Well, there's a button called the cyclic button. So we have a button and we shake it once. And then we shake it again. And then that's going to give us this, this, um, this button right here. And when you hold it down and then you set these, you can set it to an infinite amount of buttons and it cycles through those buttons. So we want one through nine. So we do one, and then we put a colon to separate it. Two, three, four, oops, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. So when we click it the first time, it's going to go to one. Click it again, two. And again, this works for any buttons that you want, uh, even the function keys. So we have a way to select our hotbar. Um, but just in case your game needs a lot more controls than just these, you're going to want to get rid of that WASD buttons because that takes up four total buttons. So there's a button that kind of slickly combines all those buttons called the joy button. Now the way you access that is the same way as the others. You shake once, shake twice, shake three times. And then we get this rhombus um, shape and that is our... Um, that is our joystick button. And the way we set what is up and down, left and right, is the same exact way we use to um, set the, the um, cyclic buttons. You put a colon in between and it reads it from, so up, left, down, right. So counterclockwise. So W is of course up, A is left, S is down, D is to the right. So it maps it correctly. Um, and we we're basically done. That's all I wanted to do in this tutorial. Except for there is one thing. You can only have a total of three or less 
special button. So if I try to turn this eye into maybe a sticky button, I want to just keep pressing. So I'm mining for a long time. I could just uh, stick these two buttons so it continuously mines and walks forward. No, I cannot do that because if I try to shake this, turn to a special button, maximize spe bu special buttons. In the future, I'm going to add a way to go ahead and do that, but not for right now. Anyway, we're going to make this shrink this back down. And we're going to click save. You're going to have to click save uh, so we can create it. But before I create it, I kind of want to change the color scheme. I want to change it to blue. I kind of like the blue color scheme. And also, back to the colors, um, you can set the opacity. I like it at 100, but you may want your buttons to be a bit fainter. So we can go back and then click create. Now, it will ask you a couple things. Make sure you turn it on for everything for GP Overlay, and then change your keypad, keyboard, to GP Overlay. Now, go into the game you want to do, so Moonlight or, or, or um, Parsec, and then I'm going to connect to my computer. As you can see, Minecraft, but not just any version of Minecraft, Java Minecraft. And I click the little floating icon, and that allows me to summon my buttons that I've made. And I want to go ahead and walk. So how do I walk? The exact way you would expect using the joystick or the joy button. Space works excellently. How does shift work? Click on it. I'm shifting. I move forward. Boom, I don't fall off. And then I could click it again to unshift. Perfect. But I want to use my pickaxe. So I click the middle cyclic button. Boom pickaxe and now I can go mining uh, boo, 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 boo. yep 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 it's perfect um, now another thing to realize is maybe I look in the sky if you can see that slight red tinge that is basically signifying where you can and cannot touch so in order to move your character you have to touch outside of this red area if you touch inside the red area, it will not work, and it's looking for button presses, right? So keep that in mind. And if you want to get rid of this overlay, you simply hold down the, the icon that allows you to summon it and click Gboard. So you're telling the device, I don't want to use this anymore. And yeah. And another thing about that red kind of um, area that you can touch you kind of change the size of how big it is by how much space these buttons take up. So um, keeping that in mind, make sure your buttons are as close to the top as possible. Okay, make sure it's very close to the top or else you will have a minimal amount of space to actually operate. So for example, if I go ahead and make these down here, now this will most likely be changed in a later update, but right now it's important. So if I make it all down here, and then I click save and then create, and then go back into Parsec, and then open it up. As you can see, I barely have any room to move. I can barely do anything. Uh, I don't know if you can see the red line, but it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny, right? So don't do that. We're gonna go ahead and get, back, get rid of that. Um, so make sure it says up to the top as possible and if you're tired of this overlay click on reset and then sure and I'll go ahead and delete it for you now some things to look out for the future is of course multiple saves if you want to have multiple um, game pads for different games but don't want to have to recreate it every single time we're gonna have an option for that if you want to have particle effects or um, you know more uh, dynamics and the, um, the colors of what you're doing that's going to come in the future and also a way to connect to your computer using bluetooth so you can actually control minecraft by maybe using your joystick on your phone but then maybe add gyroscopic controls so if you can, can kind of aim at where you want to do whatever and this could be used for your games as well so look forward to that make sure you Download the game, tell your friends about it. I put a lot of work into it, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any cool suggestions, make sure you tell me. Anyway, bye.